this is Jolly Steve, and welcome to this quick tutorial about how to set up your service using the Captain's Log app on a mobile phone. So if you're a first time, you've just signed up, you've got an email or username and your password, you download the Captain's app. It's a free app available in the Apple Store or on Google Play, and you download it, and this is the first time you've started it, and it'll, let, it'll set up your phone line for you for our service. So let me go ahead and log in because it's my first time for the sake of this tutorial on this phone. So I'll do the login and I'll come back in a second. Okay, so I'm all logged in. So because you're a first time user, you're gonna get a little um, page telling you that you're a first time user. And if you want help with the setup, then tap on the continue. If you don't want help with the setup and you wanna do it yourself by dialing a certain phone number, you'll see in a minute. Or if you just wanna do it later, you can touch the not now and um, you won't get this screen again. You'll just go to the settings page to do this if you want to do it, and I'll show you that in a minute. So let's continue, though, because I am going to use this nice little facility. So it brings me about two pages deep into the setup, and there's some information on how to do the setup. The key thing, I think, for us is that it says phone number of this phone. So I'm setting up this phone for the protection services. It shows the phone number, and we support three major carriers. You can see them there, and if you're not one of those, you'd have to be using a carrier who at least rides on their networks. So you got to figure out which network your carrier is using. So a lot of the other carriers are just using the network from AT&T or Verizon or T-Mobile. So this phone is on AT&T. If you're not sure, you can tap on the don't see your carrier and it'll bring you to a page that helps you find your carrier. So now I'm just going to do my setup by tapping on the setup button. And it tells me that basically what I'm doing is I'm using the pirate voicemail service instead of your carrier's voicemail. Our voicemail service will let you do screening and a whole bunch of other things, but it'll let you screen your calls using our whitelist and blacklist. So I'm going to confirm that I want to do that. And by doing that, I get a message sent to me if I've got an iPhone. iPhones, we can't dial it for you. Uh, Apple has shut that down. They don't want us to dial, so I can just go to my messages. I've got a message now. And in my messages, I see that I've received a message from Jolly Roger, and it has in it, it says, forward unanswered calls for that phone, which is your phone, to Jolly Roger, dial, and it has a phone number. So I'm going to tap on that link there, and that'll do the dialing for me. You see here, it says call star star 004. That's the sequence for AT&T. And I'm going to say, okay, go ahead and do that, because that'll do the setup. And I get a response back from the AT&T network telling me that I was successful, my registrations. You'll, if you read through these, you'll find that we're forwarding not all your calls. If you want, you can answer your phone. Your calls will come to your phone. But if you don't answer or if your phone is off or it's busy, then it's going to get forwarded to Jolly Roger voicemail now. So, okay, so we've done that. Let me go back to our Captain's Log app. And if you, something that's really good, you see that um, you've done the setup. But if you actually want to be sure that it's working, you can always at any time, you can find the test my phone button, which is below the setup button. I'm going to tap on it now. So let's do a test of my phone and see if this is working. And what this does is we generate a call to you. So we're going to call you. And if you don't answer it, it's going to roll over to your pirate voicemail. So let's go ahead and make a test call. And uh, eventually you're going to get a call from Jolly Roger. It could take up to something like 30 seconds. Usually it takes about 10 seconds. And you'll get a call like this and you can decline or reject the call immediately and it'll go over to Jolly Roger voicemail or you can just let it ring and then it'll roll over after three or four rings. Okay, so having rejected the call, not answered the call as we are supposed to, we're just going to wait a couple of seconds for, and this can go on actually for maybe a minute. Oh, there we go. That was a quick one. And um, we get a little result back. In this case, it tested okay. The setup worked. And it gives me a little message telling me that it's great and I don't have to do a test again. Sometimes this test can fail because there was a problem, you know, with the cell phone network. Maybe the connection wasn't that good or it's possible that the carrier doesn't really support the protocols we use for testing. But if you do get a good test, then you know that you're golden. If you don't get a good test, you get a failed test. It may still be working and you can wait and see if you get some calls in your call log. So let's go back and just take a look at our call log. And we'll see that there's our test call. So you get that nice test call there to know that it did get through. And you don't really need to keep this. So if you want, you can just delete this. And that's gone. And if you ever want to know what the results were of the most recent test you did, then you can tap on the last test result button. 
and it'll tell you that test. So right now it says it was about a minute ago, but I could always look at this in a month and it'll tell me the date and when it was done. So that's how you can test your phone, know that you're all set up and your lines are all protected. And um, I hope that you find this helpful and that your setup for you goes really smoothly. Thanks a lot once again. This is Jolly Steve signing off and saying, Arr, mateys.